About 51% of your home's energy consumption is used for heating and cooling. The U. Energy Information Administration tells reviewed, and that costs money. This is where smart thermostats come in. These thermostats connect to the internet to give you remote control of your heating, ventilation, and air conditioning, and to track your energy use to figure out how to make you the most comfortable for the least money. The two of the most popular smart thermostats are the third-generation Google Nest and the Echo Buffer. Nest grabbed more headlines, partly due to its clean, spare design and easy-to-understand controls. But the Echo B is no slouch and has made steady advancements. It even offers features the Nest doesn't. Look and feel. Are you a minimalist? Or do you crave information? Nest has one praise for its sleek design. Its silver bezel is intended to reflect the wall it's on, so it blends in. Its display is blank black glass until motion triggers it, at which point it comes to life and displays your choice of current indoor temperature. The thermostat's target temperature, the weather, or a clock, digital or analog. In comparison, the Echo Buffer has a larger black display that won't blend to anything but a slate wall. Its larger display shows temperature, clock, settings and or humidity, and can be set to show the weather report as well. Installation. If you're replacing an old thermostat, installing either Nest or Echo Bees, you are likely to need at least a Phillips head screwdriver for the wall screws and a small flathead screwdriver for the leads wires on your old thermostat. It may be handy to also have a drill, pencil, wire stripper, and small pliers for straightening old leads. There are basically two common kinds of installation, with or without a C wire. A C-wire offers a constant 24-volt power supply. Don't worry if you don't have one, both thermostats offer a workaround, although it may add steps to the installation. We find the Echo B's written instructions simpler than Nest, but both also offer video instructions and a tech helpline to see you through. Sensors In the past, the main feature difference between the two thermostats had been Echo B's wireless remote sensors. A remote sensor lets the thermostat measure temperature somewhere other than where it is mounted, which is valuable if your house heats unevenly or if your thermostat is in a drafty area. The Nest recently added remote sensors, but there are still differences in the sensor specs. Echo B sensors have a motion detector to automatically detect which room you are in. The thermostat adjusts to the occupied room is at your desired temperature. If you have several sensors, they work together to get the average temperature throughout your house as close to your target as possible. Nest can have several sensors, but it can only talk to one at a time. You have to manually tell it which one to pay attention to there is no motion detector. You can set it on a schedule if you know which rooms you use at certain times. Compatibility Smart thermostats are often the gateway for other connected devices that can interact with lights. Motorized window shades, sound systems, smoke detectors, security systems, and more. Both the Nest and the Echo B can do this, but there are limitations. After its purchase of Nest, Google decided to shut down the Works with Nest program that helped integrate other devices. It will be replaced with Works with Google Assistant potentially cutting off some smart home products that currently can integrate with Nest, and it isn't compatible with Apple HomeKit. Echo B, on the other hand, will continue to integrate with Apple HomeKit, Amazon's Alexa, and Samsung's SmartThings, Microsoft's Cortana, Wink, Google Assistant, and FTT. The apps both offer mobile apps that are pretty easy to use. Nest minimalist control means there isn't much to learn. Echo B's app closely mimics the faceplate of the thermostat, so if you can run one, you can run the other. Geofencing. One way the thermostats save energy is by shutting off the HVAC when you aren't around. But then if you're gone for the day, you don't want to return to a cold or hot house. Both systems use geofencing, which enables your phone to tell the system when you've left home and when you are headed back, so it can adjust the temperature accordingly. However, Kaikubi can't automatically geofence with Apple mobile devices unless there is a HomeKit product at home. Using the geofencing feature with the motion detectors can cause an annoying quirk. If you're on a long flight, either system may switch back to energy-saving mode while your mobile device is in airplane mode. To get your house ready for your homecoming, you have to turn off that automated feature and manually set your home thermostat from your phone. You can turn geofencing on again later. Which one is right for you? Which is right for you will depend on which smart thermostat smarts are most important to you. Google Nest shines when it comes to learning your schedule and is best in a home that doesn't need a lot of remote sensors unless you like programming schedules. Echo B is smarter about knowing which room it should make comfortable and when. If you have a lot of hot and cold spots, Echo B will do more to even out your environment. Or you can just pick the one you find prettiest. Either will trounce your legacy programmable thermostat for comfort and savings, 
we are almost wrapping up. These are the common differences between these two. Hope you like this video. Please comment, share and subscribe to this channel for more videos.